good morning. My name is Sarah Lukens and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about exercise and nutrition. Diet and exercise have become hot topic in today's society. With obesity becoming a global epidemic, many people are resorting to costly and risky surgeries like gastric bypass, gastric sleeves. So in my opinion, I think that's kind of taking the easy way out. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle isn't hard once you develop a routine. So today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the different kinds of exercise and why they're good for you, as, also, as well as some nutritional no-nos and uh, one of my favorite ways of incorporating more fruits and veggies into your diet. So typically when we think of exercise, we think of two different kinds. We think of cardio and strength. So cardiorespiratory exercise is basically any movement that makes your body work harder. So typically you like to think of swimming, cycling, running, things like that, but even vigorously sweeping your floor can be considered cardio. Um, uh, any, anything that you do for a prolonged period of time is considered cardio. So some of the benefits include a lower resting heart rate. So during a workout, your heart has to work harder to plump the blood throughout your, your system. So over time, your heart becomes very efficient at pumping the blood, which makes everyday activity easier. So studies have actually shown that people with a resting heart rate of 100 beats per minute which is very high, these people actually have a 78% greater risk of developing heart disease. So another benefit of cardio is weight loss. And who doesn't want to lose weight, right? <laughs> um, during a workout, workout, your body has to use extra fuel. So any activity greater than 30 minutes and your body usually taps into your stored fat um, to get that fuel to get you through the exercise. Um, another benefit of cardio is um, reduced stress. So um, typically when you're working out, uh, after a while your body starts releasing these things called endorphins, which is kind of like our body's uh, feel-good hormones. So um, that's typically referred to as a runner's high. Um, I know a lot of people uh, find meditation during their workout. Uh, for me, like when I go for a run, that's a great time for me to meditate. My mind clears, um, all the negativity from the day just kind of go away, and I can really just focus on all the good things and uh, just what I need to do. So it's a great time to meditate. Um, the other type of exercise that I want to talk to you today about is strength training. So this involves building muscle uh, with the overall goal of increasing your physical strength. So benefits to this include getting stronger, obviously, um, losing fat, as well as building stronger bones. Um, there's studies that have shown that actually uh, strength training is better than taking calcium and vitamin, and vitamin D uh, for building bone density. Uh, other lesser known benefits include improvements in mental health, such as anxiety and depression. It's also very beneficial for uh, rehabilitation of patients with neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. It's also great because it protects from symptomatic osteoarthritis. Uh, different types of strength training include weightlifting, which can include like bench press, overhead press, uh, using your bum dumbbells, um, it can also use uh, body weight exercise, such as Pilates, um, also any kind of exercise that you use your own body weight, like pull-ups and push-ups. And finally, you can also use the machines at the gym, like the Nautilus and Cybex machines, to, uh, to work on your strength training. Finally, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about some nutritional no-nos. Um, so we just talked about cardio and strength training, which are great, which are needed for uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle. But the trifecta to this is a healthy diet. So all the exercise in the world isn't going to do you that much good if you come home and you guzzle a bunch of soda and you binge eat on junk food. So I know a lot of people get in the habit of doing a great workout. They're out there for one to two hours and they come home and they eat a cheeseburger because they, they earned it, right? <laughs> I know I've, I've, um, I've been guilty of this and it's just really a bad habit to get into. Um, you can actually undo a week's worth of exercise in one sitting. So studies have shown that it takes about uh, 3,500 calories to burn one pound. So that equates to about 500 calories a day. I know if any of you have ever looked at a nutritional information chart from like McDonald's, you can see it's really not that hard to go over 500 calories. So you really gotta watch it there. <clears throat> uh, one of the easiest ways that I have found to increase my vegetable and fruit intake is to invest in a really good blender like a Vitamix or a Blendtec. Um, it's great because you can just throw in a handful of spinach, carrot, any kind of vegetables you want, 
Um, I usually throw in like some banana, strawberries, a little bit of apple juice and some almond milk, whip it up and I have all the nutrition and vitamins and nutrients I need for the day in one cup and it tastes great. So I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's been great for me. <clears throat> so today we have discussed cardio and strength training as well as nutritional no-nos and also one of my favorite ways to get more uh, fruits and veggies into your diet. So with obesity and heart disease and diabetes on the rise, it's really imperative that we all gain awareness um, on what we can do to address these issues. So you don't have to run out and start some crazy uh, fitness routine or some crazy diet. Um, it really can just start with simple things like choosing a salad instead of a burger the next time you go out to eat or just taking the stairs at work instead of taking the elevator. Um, just little things like that add up over time. So with that, um, I would like to say thank you for listening and I hope you learned a little something today and I thank you for listening.